We're at Burger Stop in Pico Rivera. Let's hear it now. <laughs> Pretty much a festive mood for show number nine of this 2014 campaign. It's the Vinny Lopez show. Here's the coach himself, Vinny Lopez, Ronnie Wald with play-by-play -play of Don's football. You can hear on waldcast.com. Coming off a great win, Coach, and it was a 48-14 to 14 win over California. And two of the great players from that game we're going to introduce to you in just a moment. But a lot of people accuse me, Coach Lopez, in broadcasting of talking too much. It's part of my, it's part of my game plan, what I do. But can I just use six simple words? And I think the crowd will know what I'm talking about. El Rancho, Del Rio League champions! <laughs> Coach Vinny Lopez, congratulations. You, well, you haven't gotten the CIF title yet. That's the mountaintop, but you've made a great trip up the hill now. Congratulations on getting the title. The win over California sealed the deal. Yes, thank you. It's a, you know, it's a good win for us, a good win for the program, and uh, it's been something that we've been working to for the last three years since I've gotten here. And, uh, you know, we finally have gotten there. Um, and we got one important game left. We don't want to forget about Santa Fe. We want to take care of business on Thursday night and make sure that uh, we don't have to share it with anybody. You know, we want it to be ours and, and ours alone, and, and that's the plan. So we're going to go take care of business Thursday night to finish it off. But we're very happy that we have at least a share of the, the uh, title right now. But, uh, you know, it's not enough. We're not satisfied. And it's a seven. In, that's right. Let's hear it. On this show, spontaneous applause is appreciated, so keep it coming. Uh, Coach, you're 7-2 now, right? We are. Okay, so it's not a fluke anymore. This team is a powerhouse. Five of the last six games over 40 points, and now I believe you won five in a row. You know, you're really marching through opponents like nobody's business. Again, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I think, you know, it's a testament to the boys and how they've responded. You know, we've, we've really come together. The, the first couple weeks were – a little bit of challenging. We had a lot of new kids, a lot of new faces, and as we've gotten better, as the weeks have progressed, you know, you can see it come out in our play, offensively and defensively. Um, and so the boys have really played their butts off, and I, I couldn't be happier with the performances that they've been doing on the field. And uh, it's a testament to the work and effort that, that we've all been putting in this season. So congratulations to the boys and to us. And even better, and we'll talk about this in a moment, You've now sealed the deal for the playoffs. You know you'll get first round game at home, and that means everything, doesn't it? It does. You know, last year we went into a hostile territory and, and kind of took a whooping, but, um, you know, this year somebody's got to come play us in Pico, and uh, we couldn't be happier with that because we really feel like we have an opportunity to advance. You know, being a first place team, regardless of what the outcome is on Thursday, we're going to draw a third place team in the finals. So. Um, you know, that's a huge advantage for us, and, you know, we play really well at home, and, and so we expect the fans to come out on, on that first playoff game and uh, really come out and support us. So, it's All right, and first got to end the regular season, and they're going to do that this Thursday night. It's going to be on the road in neutral site at Downey playing Santa Fe. Uh, one more thing, wanted to thank the good folks here at Burger Stop, Mike, and and the, and the complete crew here, because they made it happen. Remember, Burger Stop located here at Slauson and Passons in Pico Rivera. Now, Coach, you have a couple of great-looking, handsome guys over here. Last week's defensive and offensive players of the game. Would you introduce them for everybody? Yeah, the guy sitting to your left is a defensive tackle. Uh, that's Rock Ortiz. Rock, would you raise your hand? The Rock. And then the guy sitting to his left is our center, Sergio Gamis. Sergio, raise your hand. There he is. You can tell they're a little shy, except when they get on the football field, then they take care of business. Okay, let's start with The Rock. <laughs> Congratulations. When you, before you started the year, you know, did you have any idea that this El Rancher team would be like it is, an offensively-minded crew, one that can score a lot of points? And now five straight games of 40 a game. So did you ever imagine in the summertime when you were training, getting ready for the season, that it would be this kind of team? Honestly, I knew we had the potential. And if we just, if everything just clicked, there's no stopping us. And I believed in that and we all believe in it still. And we're not satisfied unless we have a ring on our finger. All right. So. Now, tell us the origins of the name Rock. I, I'm dying to find out. Where did that come from? I think some people already know. Where's, where's that from? Oh, just my dad. My my dad's a Rocky, and I, okay. I'm Little Rocky, and my and my grandpa. 
Oh, we got Rockies all over the place. Your grandpa and dad. Hey, can we get a shot of them while we're at it? Our new cameraman, Mrs. Caraballo. Okay. That's the two Rockies. And this is what they call the little rock, but he looks pretty big to me. Great job so far. Now, Sergio, I want to mention the incredible outf offensive line. And I, I wrote the names down here. Could you please give us applause, not after each name, but after I name them all? Because along with Sergio at center, these guys have created the opportunities for Andrew Perea to have the big gaping holes and the opportunity to throw the football. It's, yes, yes, he's among that group. Mark Mion, Bobby Ramirez, yeah, Mason Gonzalez, Adrian Garcia, and Ricardo Torres, and this young man over here. Congratulations, you had to, this is a new position for you, center. This is a whole new world for you, but you're getting the job done. Well, um, you know, as- Wait, I, I'm sorry, the applause now. <laughs> Coach, can we get the El Rancho Touchdown Club to get an applause sign? We need to do a fundraiser for that. No, but again, you guys have made it up, the opportunities happen on that great offensive line, and congratulations to you, and how, Tell me, tell me simply, what is the thought pattern going into a game in terms of that offensive line? You seem to all pull together like your brothers out there. Isn't that true? Um, well, the thing is, we all come out and uh, we take initiative. We all like like to start off on the same page. We uh, we all like start off very um, aggressive, and uh, we carry that out throughout the game, and we play together. So, as center, it's kind of um, I kind of got to take charge and you know make sure everyone does their job, and we we just take care of business together and. When Perea is back there, he takes care of business, our receivers, our running backs. Uh, when all of us play as a team, you know, we're a great team. So we're, we're continuing to do that, and that's exactly what we plan to do in the playoffs. And the, yes. And Andrew Perea, coach, doesn't he look so relaxed back there? I mean, he can run with the best of them, throw with the best of them, but it wouldn't happen without the great offensive line. Is that correct? That is correct. You know, I think uh, both sides of our line are, are, are pretty incredible, offensively and defensively. And I think that's why we're as good as we are and why we're a 7-2 and two football team. And, and realistically, we're probably just a couple plays away from being a 9-0 and o football team. Doesn't always work that way, but, um, you know, it's a credit to our nine defensive and offensive linemen that are, are getting it done every week. And so, you know, we're going to continue to roll with that. And uh, it's been the strength of this football team. And so we, we feel really good about us and our, the potential that we have to take care of business in the playoffs. So, Okay, Coach Vinny Lopez, now a lifetime 18-12 and 12 record. And there were a couple games you had in your first year. You had double-digit leads, and you should have won those games in the final seconds. I hate to remind you, but 18-12, and 12, that's not bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very good. Great job. Uh, I want to ask you the keys to victory come Thursday night against Santa Fe, the last regular season game of the year, but I want to throw it back over to these guys one more time. Sergio, tell us now what you feel are the keys to victory. How do you avoid a letdown? Look, you've already won the Del Rio League title, and you're looking forward to the playoffs. How do you make sure you focus this Thursday night on Santa Fe? Um, well, like Coach said, we're not done taking the league championship uh, by ourselves, so um, we just got to finish off and play all Rancho football. As long as we play our keys, uh, I don't think anyone can stop us. Okay, Rock, how about that? How do you, uh, again, overcome the natural idea of being a lame duck, I hate to mention that, looking beyond Santa Fe. However, there's something else going on here. They like to run the table and be 5-0 and oh in league play, right? So that's important. That's going to, uh, I would say, inspire you this week. This week. What was the question? Oh. <laughs> I told you I got a lot, of, a lot to say. Simply put, come Thursday, how do you make sure you don't overlook Santa Fe? Honestly, we just got to realize what we're playing for. We don't want to share with no one. And if, we, if we're consistent with the plays and everything, offense and defense, we're, we're going to win. All right. So. All right, Coach. Keys to victory come Thursday against Santa Fe. You can't overlook any opponent in the Del Rio, right? No, you can't. And Santa Fe wants us bad. You know, we kind of put it to them last year. They got a little chippy, and they, they kind of think that, you know, the refs handed them a football game, and I think they're going to come out strong. You know, it's senior night for them. It's the, the last game for, for all those seniors, and we need to ensure that and put the nail in the coffin for those guys uh, that they don't have an opportunity to go to the playoffs. And, you know, with us, it's, we've always been able to finish strong, and so we're, we've always been a second-half football team. With us, to, the keys to victory are starting strong, and so we have to start strong, finish strong, and we'll take care of business on Friday night or Thursday night this week. 
Okay, Coach Vinny Lopez, thanks for the visit. Hey, I got another trick question for you. I always ask him about DUIs. Coach Vinny Lopez, have you had the family special this year? Has your family had the family special at Burger Stuff? I have not. We have, have not. not. But we do. I do regularly come by and see Mike. It's a great burger. Yes. Passons and Slauson. And if we can get a shot of this in the program, everyone knows about it. Take a shot of that family special. There's a real recession buster special. Four burgers, four fries, four drinks, $16.99. And guess what, Coach? If you add a buck, you get five burgers, five fries, five drinks. You can feed almost the whole team. That's a great deal. Almost. Yeah, it's a great deal. And thank you to Burger Stop for their continued support of El Rancho football. And thank you to the fans for continuing to support us. Okay, Sergio, thank you. Good luck Thursday. And into the playoffs, The Rock. Let's get ahead for these guys. They've been a true inspiration this year. I've had a wonderful year with this El Rancho team. Really enjoyed it. Thank you, parents. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you, parents. Let's hear it, parents, for parents. If you don't make it down to Downey on Thursday, we'll have the broadcast live on waldcast.com. That's 7 p.m. on the West Coast at Downey High, the neutral site, as the Dons play the final regular season game of the year, the Del Rio League champs. But Boy, that sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, they're five, looking to become 5-0, and oh, playing Santa Fe. Look forward to talking to you on the network then. For the guys, for the parents, Mike, Burger Stop, Vinny Lopez, Ronnie Wald, talk to you on the network. So long for now. Go Dons! Yeah.